The Shutterstream product photography software sports two saving features. Let's first explore batch saving. We can select a single or set of images from the thumbnail viewing gallery and hit the batch saving button. This will allow us to output again a single or set of images with a single file name. If saving multiple images they will be named sequentially dash one, dash zero one, or dash zero zero one being the first image, increasing numerically. We can also choose to batch resize all our images. For instance, if we need all these images at 1,000 pixels wide, again, it'll save the entire set of images at that specific pixel size. Users can also choose their resolution between 72 and 300 DPI, and also choose to apply a watermark, that is their own company logo stamped over top of the image, and also transfer images directly to an FTP site. When we hit OK, the images will be saved to whatever save to location we have chosen. Now, our other save option is our dynamic save tool. This will allow us to output a single or set of images, multiple different sizes, with multiple different names, multiple different resolutions, to different folder locations if required. What we'll first do here is give our file a master name, which will be Nike shoe 5.0 inside of here we can give it a suffix name for instance that would be web images if we need these images for our web we can denote it that way we can also choose our save to location uh, maybe it'll be in our documents area and we'll save to our shoe images folder again here we can choose our resolution choose to resize again maybe it's a thousand pixels wide we need we can also choose our image format JPEG, TIFF, PNG or RAW output and also choose to apply FTP watermark or automatically apply an editing profile that is a previously set profile to the set of images now should we want to save the set of images a duplicate time we can do so we'll simply give it a different name maybe this will be for our print which is we would require 300 dpi if we did need a specific size we can certainly do so and maybe we can choose a different folder so maybe it would be in our documents we can choose a new folder and we'll call this shoe print and maybe we do want these one last time maybe as a set of, set of thumbnail images so we'll call it thumbnail and maybe for our thumbnail size again we want 72 resolution also at 150 pixels wide and maybe we choose a folder we name a folder specifically for thumbnail now essentially what we've done is set up a profile in which we're going to save each of these images that is the four images that we selected from the thumbnail gallery three different times with different names to different folder locations at different pixel sizes and different formats if required. After we've set up our custom save profile we can actually save that inside the software. So this would be called my profile. We simply hit the OK button. The images are going to be output to each of those folder locations. Now the next time we come into the dynamic save tool, we will see it retains our save profile. So all we simply have to do, provided we're not making any changes that we do require a web image, print image, and also a thumbnail image, is just simply rename our file and hit the save button. It's just that simple.